This episode of Safe Moon Night will cover Safe Moon Price and Daily Volume. First Punch Safe Moon Latest Updates Riddle me this. If you've been able to hack into my night computer and survey my feed, congratulations. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of this content. Leave a comment below as I read and reply to them all. Make sure to share this video to help get the word about Safe Moon to others. For more at night content, follow me on Twitter. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm someone else. I've become something else. I am Safe Moon Knight. Alfred, provide a live feed to Safe Moon's price and daily value. Coming your way, Master Bruce. Thanks, Alfred. Seems as though Safewood's current price is 0.0002314, with a daily volume of almost $96,000 per 24 hours, down about 79%. A whale just sold a little over a half a million dollars worth of Safe Moon, dropping the price of Safe Moon significantly. But as Dent always says, there's two sides to every coin. So you know what else dropped significantly from the whale sell-off? Whale dominance. And circulating supply. Let's take a look over at Safe Moon Gluba's website. Top 10 whale dominance is now below 6.5%. Very nice. Let's go on to the next segment. Safe Moon Knight's First Punch. The First Punch segment will cover some facts about Safe Moon's latest developments and some fun speculation. Let's start with the facts. SafeMoon delivered on their promises. That's right, the deliverance of the migration recovery tool for SafeMoon to help those convert V1 to V2 has been delivered. I didn't know about this launch and will consider it from Dark Moon. Did you know about this launch? Well, I didn't. Makes me think, what else don't we know about? If you missed it, CEO John Carodi announced his launch on Discord and he was having some back and forth with the Safe Moon Army. Here it is. On Discord, he says, Migration completion tool is live. Info to come from official channels, but serious chat heard it first. Then Falcon says, Wait, is this communication? I've been hearing people say there's no communication. Then Captain Hoddle says, Let the fudders fud. We continue to build regardless of them. Nice. He continues saying their memes are pretty funny though, so thank you for the entertainment. Amaku, survivor of Boozman, says, Let's not spoil the surprises, if there are any. Hmm. Elendil says, It's about the failed V1 migration. Hmm. Captain Hoddle replies to that, saying, It's about helping those who had difficulty migrating from V1 to V2. Then Mr. E says, I confirm this works properly in the case of someone who did the migration properly. We've had several reports from those who have tried the migration recovery that it does in fact work. And just to provide you with some quick background about why this is significant. When SafeMoon was in their V1 contract and wanted to convert to their V2 contract, there was massive arbitrage happening between the two versions of the token. To stop the arbitrage trading from occurring, SafeMoon put a 100% tax on any purchase, sell, or swap of V1. Some didn't get the memo, and instead of migrating from V1 to V2 as instructed by SafeMoon, some tried to swap their V1 for V2. Unfortunately, when doing so, they essentially lost all of their SafeMoon tokens due to this 100% tax. Thus, the FUD didn't waste any time to pounce on this and started to slam SafeMoon as a scam. SafeMoon realizing what had happened to Holder's tokens, they made a promise to fix this issue. Some time went by, well, almost a year. And during that time, the FUD was increasingly growing, calling SafeMoon a scam and that they have empty promises leaving Holder's out to dry. Could SafeMoon have had this issue rectified sooner? Sure. However, the priority switched and has been security. SafeMoon knowing that they have a giant target on their back understands that there's evildoers waiting to pounce and exploit SafeMoon at every turn. With all the hacks and exploits that have been occurring in DeFi recently, anyone who's seasoned knows that security must be first. After all, there's no point rolling out this migration recovery tool if there's a hacker waiting at the other end to take your tokens once you claim them. Right things in the right order. Now that this migration recovery tool is in place and holders are now able to recover their tokens, this is yet another promise kept by SafeMoon. To all the fudders out there continuously calling SafeMoon a scam, let this promise fulfillment be a lesson learned that good things come to those who wait. Patience is key in this innovative space. Besides, you don't want to start sounding like Veruca, who always wants her things now. 
As we know, things didn't end well for her. Thank you, Safe Moon team, for fulfilling your promises to the Safe Moon holders, and for giving a wink to all those fudders who said that migration recovery would never happen. I guess you were wrong. Now, onto some speculation. Not long ago, John Caroni responded to Barry on Discord. Barry asked zero info about blockchain, to which Caroni responded, there will be info on the blockchain. Well, this is interesting because blockchain talk has been absent and most of the focus has been on the security protocol, Orbital Shield. Well, I found it extra peculiar when CEO of Blockbusters Tech Don Bailey put out this post on the very same day. Don Bailey asked on Facebook, are there any blockchain developers connected with me on here? Now, I find it very unusual that both CEOs post about blockchains on the same day. I thought to myself, why would Bailey be looking for a blockchain developer? Don was asked if he was going to build his own blockchain a long time ago, and his response was, and I am paraphrasing, why would I build a blockchain when SafeMoon is building a fantastic blockchain of their own? So this had me thinking that perhaps he was looking to do something with the SafeMoon blockchain instead. A little later, I find this on Twitter. Don Bailey posts, so here goes spicy. At DBTF, we leverage our assets to further develop our ecosystem. In doing so, oftentimes it requires a reliance on third parties to produce. Our requests are often complex and novel, which means that even your favorite developers haven't done it. All right, nothing too significant there, but Duke of SafeMoon says, this. We need more CEOs dropping their truths on us, especially in these bare and very bare times. Very true. Don Bailey responds what I think is significant. Here he says, interesting. So here's another bomb. We are in SAAS, which means software as a service. Our utility is a bolt-on to any and every token. Our next utility is a bolt-on to any and every wallet. Hashtag Dark Moon Protocol. For those who know, Dark Moon Protocol is anything that SafeMoon is working on behind the scenes unknown to the public. Then CryptoKoi says, can't quite get my head around this, but will the revenue generated by the SAAS components contribute liquidity to BBTF? Don Bailey says yes. Don Bailey then says, ultimately, this will be chain specific googly eyes. Huh. Then I respond here with saying, which is why you were looking for a blockchain developer about a week ago. I have some speculation on this that I'll present in one of my upcoming videos, which is this video. And yes, a moon is involved. This moon is shielded, guarded, and secure, otherwise known as a safe moon. Now, here's the fun speculation. I believe that both Coroni and Don know that Blockbuster's tech, as in the BBTF technology, will be implemented into the safe moon blockchain. A technology called tokenomics as a service. If this is implemented as I predicted, it could mean that all the tokens that are on the SafeMoon blockchain in the future will have tokenomics, which essentially means that SafeMoon will have cryptonomics as they promised. Nice. If this happens, it will be yet another SafeMoon promise fulfilled. Now, on to the next segment. SafeMoon latest update in a flash. This segment is fast and furious. Hold on to your buns. Here we go. Denology on Twitter put out a tweet saying exchange is now arguably past beta phase per Mr. Adult. He put a screenshot of Chamba saying still an alpha LOL, meaning the centralized exchange. Mr. Adult said nope, arguably beyond beta. Nice. Next. And here, Safe Moon Tony on Twitter dropping facts saying Trust Wallet token launched at .006 on July 2020. Today, it's at $2.31 per token. The Trust Wallet token is not working on exchange, blockchain, orbital shield, engaging community, card, hard wallet, Glotox, cryptonomics, nor have its own swap. In time, this SafeMoon beast will wake up. He then put below saying, SafeMoon exchange, SafeMoon card, SafeMoon blockchain, SafeMoon connect, etc. Next, and SafeMoon yet again making it in the top 10 for most mentioned BNB chain projects on Twitter. On December 15th, SafeMoon got 8th place, getting 57,000 Twitter mentions. Next, and here yours truly retweeted SafeMoon Warrior saying, SafeMoon submits a trademark application for the SafeMoon card, let's go. SafeMoon Warrior says the same thing. You can see down below the trademark filing for the SafeMoon card, nice. Next, and here are some screenshots found from the SafeMoon wallet for those trying out Orbital Shield. This is the support Zendesk platform on Orbital Shield with replies about some cases that were opened, now closed. Nice. Next, and Gandalf with some motivational words saying, confidence finds encouragement, encouragement 
forms confidence. Hmm. Nothing can stop you if you stick to your path. No matter what the situation, your drive is your engine for success. And success can be achieved. That's what we're all working on. Safe Moon. Safe Moon Army. Next, and here if you haven't opened up your safe moon wallet lately, when you do, you'll be greeted with this screenshot saying, keep your tokens in the wallet you want to use for the migration. Don't transfer your tokens after Monday. The link to the migration dApp will be live only on safemoon.com. Have a small amount of Ethereum for gas fees, and tokens that are acquired after Monday, December 19th, are not eligible for migration. This is talking about the Peace Safe Moon migration campaign that's starting Monday, December 19th. Nice. Next, it's time to Glow. Glow has upgraded. They upgraded their migration to a new proxy contract. Nice. They have 11% rewards, 9% BUSD, 1% XRP, and 1% BBTF. The proxy contract allowing updates on the fly. Nice. Reduced total supply from 1 quadrillion to 100 billion, so there was a consolidation. Max wallet size removed. Lottery component removed from tax structure will be using a new method. Migration was automatic. Nice. All Glow V2 holders airdropped new tokens. Next, Glow Token does a fundraiser every month and the community gets to pick which one they donate to. The choices here are A Child's Hope International, Chemo Bags of Hope, Delaware Family Voices, International Association for Suicide Prevention, and Sight Savers. If you haven't done so, go to Straw Poll on their website and vote for who you want them to donate to. Next, on one of my previous dataset videos, I put out a riddle that I found in the streets of Gotham from Enigma. Filth. And I ask you, the Safe Moon Army, to comment in the comment section below to see if you could solve the riddle. And I'll give a shout out to those who did answer it correctly. The riddle read, I can be tested, but not scored. Time is my ally. Can't wait. There's the door. And there were two individuals who were able to comment the right answer on the comment section on the last day of set video. Brian C. and Mr. Equis. Patience was the answer. Well done to you two. Well done. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. We're almost at the 2100 subscriber mark. Thank you, Safe Moon Army. If you like viewing this content, make sure to subscribe and punch that notification bell so you're aware when I release my next data set video. Please share this video to help get the news on Safe Moon to others. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest news on Safe Moon as it's happening. For all those who follow, retweet, comment, like, and spread the word of Safe Moon and spread the word of my message, Alfred and I sincerely thank you. Look. SafeMoon has made promises, and sure, there have been delays. So what? Right things, in the right order. This movement on SafeMoon's price sure doesn't feel good, but feelings have nothing to do with it. The entire crypto industry has taken a major hit, that's for sure. And with the recent whale sell-off, doesn't help the price situation. But for those who know it, does help with the burn and decreased well dominance, which helped the project in the long term. Not to mention the amount of reflections gained from this recent volume has been significant. And also remember, when BNB moves, just about everything else on their blockchain moves with it. And if this token migration recovery tool tells us anything, it tells us that SafeMoon is delivering on their promises, and they have made many. I believe and hope that they will continue to deliver on their promises made. Will there be delays? Sure. But that's where you have to ask yourself, why a delay? Security reasons, third party delays, pivot in a roadmap. Do your own research and make sure you make your own decisions. And most of all, stay vigilant, stay patient, stay safe moon, and I'll stay safe moon night.